you know, it wasn't necessarily an area of need, yeah. but as I said, they love those pass rushers, and, and they went with the guy that they thought was the best fit at that moment in the draft. What do you think overall of, of the pick, Will McDonald? Well, I think it makes sense for Robert Sala's defense to be effective. He, he needs pass rush. He needs people to get after the quarterback. And we watched Quentin Williams literally last year jump off the bench saying, hey, we can get there with four. Just send us. Well, now they added depth to that. They got a young guy who's 6'4", 235 pounds, who has a basketball body, but you put him on the edge, he can be held for a lot of tackles. I like the pick from a standpoint because we talked about depth, right? I say when you draft, you either draft for potential or you draft for need or you draft for depth. This was the depth move. So I like it. I don't mind that at all. I'm a little worried about his frame. He's got to put on some weight. But I think, listen, Joe D and then Robert Solid, they know what they're looking for. It seems like they got their prototype type pass rusher. So he welcome to New York, young fella. And, and the thing, too, to remember is that with the NFL draft, you draft for the future, right? Yep. I mean, that, that's what you do. And I think with the Jets, with this selection, you need to look not necessarily at this year, but down the road a little bit. Carl Lawson, he's on the final year of his contract. Bryce Huff, he could be leaving as well. That's two potential pass rushing voids that could be staring the Jets in the face in 2024 that now Will McDonald could potentially fill. Situational rusher this year, they add some weight to him over the offseason and this season, and then suddenly he's your starting defensive end next year. My only problem with the pick is that this is not about next year with the New York Jets. When you go out there and get Aaron Rodgers, is it, all, it is all about doing everything you can to make the Jets a Super Bowl contender this year. And I don't necessarily know if Will McDonald moves the needle in any which way that way. Offensive tackle, that would have done it, I think. However, obviously, the tackles were off the board. So, in my opinion, go get another playmaker. I know this isn't a great playmaking class, but I just think that a playmaker, whether it was a receiver, whether it was a tight end, something like that, I think, would have benefited the Jets more this year because, again, I know the Jets the draft is about the future, but everything about the Jets is right now and trying to win a Super Bowl. Yeah, if you do take a look at the future, though, with McDonald, the one thing to keep in mind, I said it earlier, he is a, a late starter yeah. with football. Didn't play until his junior year of high school. Clearly has ascended and gotten better and better and better each year. These are the last two years he had at Iowa State. And you know, if you can really develop him, he's somebody that is uh, has the potential to be the type of pass rusher that this Jets scheme really looks at. We're taking a look at McDonald's final two years at Iowa State presented by Duncan. The Jets run on Duncan in 25 games of the last two seasons. He had 16 and a half sacks, 21 and a half tackles for a loss. Even still, it was no slam dunk that he'd go as high as he ended up going. 